All right, y'all, like, share, and subscribe because I'm not here to waste y'all time. So, which one to do for this video? Follow everything I do. Now, step one, follow this exact rock route I'm taking, and I like to hug this wall and wait to kill this guard because if I don't, this would alert the juggernaut and I have to start all over again. And this is the reason why I have to start over again. This video, I didn't show it out. I obviously got it, but boom, you kill that guard and you go over here and then you kill the juggernaut with the shotgun this is the fast way to do that now right here this is for the solo door glitch for the west and south building what you want to do is jump into this little tree whatever and ragdoll or just fall down or just stumble in first person mind you in first person then what you want to do is not run at all do not run at all run over or just i said do not run i said run over don't run and walk over to this guard right here take him out because he's in the way and then boom walk back Take out this camera and take out this guard. Now, after you do that, you want to walk into this corner, jump onto these little bushes, and what you want to do, as you jump, move your right analog stick towards the right. So, you're going to act like you're turning towards the right, and you're going to glitch right side of the wall. It's easy as hell. And then grab whatever loot is inside there. For me, it was gold, luckily, because it's never gold in this building. But hey, I got lucky this time. Thank God the Rockstar. Release GTA 6. Now once you got that part done, walk over here to the tree that we were just at and do the same exact thing with the rag doll. And then walk over to the south building behind you. Walk, do not run. And this one is going to be a little bit harder. It's going to be actually a, not a little bit harder, a lot of bit harder. If no, if that makes sense. As you walk over here. Go to the left side of the bench and look towards the wall, but slightly look down. And as you look down, you want to press square. And as soon as you press square, flick your left analog stick up and then clockwise move it down and then flick it back up as fast as you can. Now, I said before, this is hard as hell to do. You can get this on this, the first try, the second try. For me, it was the second try. And you get this on like the 35th try, the 87th try. It's going to be... It's just random. It's just your luck. If your luck is terrible, then A, sucks for you. But for me, on this try, I got on the second try, and I was I was, I was, was stoked. I was happy to say I got this. But A, I usually don't do that one because it is hard to hell. I said hard to hell. It's hard as hell. And it basically just wastes time for the elite challenge. But you can do it and still get the elite challenge like... I did in this video. I didn't actually get the elite challenge. I just put it on the title because if I didn't fail the first time by alerting guards, I would have actually got the lead challenge because, you know, I made the time limit. So, boom, after you get that done, you probably pick up the keys. For me personally, I picked up the keys. If you didn't get the keys, then, like I said, your luck is just terrible. That's not my fault. And then, boom, I got the keys. I went down to the basement so I could just do the one hack compared to, like, the three or four hacks that you have to do in the actual office. So, just like that, I'm going to show you how to do the hack like multiple times like i did in my previous videos we'll go over here unlock this door and then when you get to the key i said the keyboard the uh the fingerprint hack make everything the exact the exactly the same as the top i don't actually i don't think i did it in this video but make everything exactly the same as the top part of the little fingerprint on the right and then as you go down add one over so the second row is gonna be plus one to the right plus two to the uh the right on the second row and you go down and you keep counting as you go down so third row is plus three uh fourth row plus four you know say it goes down and just like that you'll be in the basement in no time so this heist or this part of the heist i keep saying words that i don't need to be saying this part of the heist is pretty self-explanatory you get the primary target and then you just go to the main gate you smack the dude in the back of the head or you shoot him higher everyone just take him out you get on the bike and then you drive towards the helipad drive past it drive off the island swim away and then boom your home safe home the, the hike is done and then you have to do it in like three hours again because rockstar doesn't like the players that buy and just waste their time on this game to have fun it's kind of crazy it's crazy as hell they don't like doing that they always messing up good things we see them by them taking out goddamn 200 cars hey that shit right there makes no sense how like they have how like it, it doesn't make no sense i can't fucking speak the, the video is basically over i just explained the rest of the video so if you still want to watch by all means shit watch it i really don't care but the video is over i'm just saving your time you know what i'm saying so it, it, you know like share subscribe like i said before in the beginning like every youtuber does so yeah i'm out peace